Hi, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and today we're going to be removing the fairing from our 2014 Street Glide. Basically, this install is going to be the same for uh, the 14 Street Glides and Electric Glides, with the exception of the light bar. And the earlier models, if you have a pre 14 model, the install is going to be basically the same, with the exception of the screw locations are going to be slightly different here. So, why would you want to do this? If you're doing any kind of audio work, obviously you're going to have to take the outer fairing off. Uh, if you're going to go do handlebars, you're going to have to take the inner fairing off. Either way, this is the first step to get you where you're going as far as anything you do with the fairing. Uh, tools, very simple. We have a 532nd Allen and we have a Torx T25. So, we're going to go ahead and get started up here by the windshield and get this fairing off here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to put uh, something down on my front fender here that's soft just in case I drop anything on it, I won't nick my front fender. Next, we're going to come up here. I'm going to take the three windshield bolts out, take my windshield off, remove my windshield trim, but I'm going to put this middle one back in because it's going to kind of hold something for me later. So we're going to get to work here. Um, if you're just taking your windshield off, you wouldn't need to take these completely out. You can slide it out. Um, we have an aftermarket windshield and piece of trim here. Obviously, we have a Clockworks windshield and a Ness uh, windshield trim, but really not going to change the install much. If you don't have a windshield trim, obviously it won't be in your way. We do, it's not a big deal. I'm going to put this back in here because once I get this thing free, I'll be working on the inside of the fairing. This will just act as something for it to hang on. So if it does break loose, it won't drop onto the fender. So the next thing we're going to do is take out four screws in the inner part of the fairing. The first two are going to be up high, one on each side, and the next two are going to be down here on the bottom. Once those are out, your fairing is pretty loose, so we'll have to go back to the front, pull it off, and unplug our headlight. So we left our last bolt in here. We're gonna pull this out. This fairing should pull away. We'll unplug the headlight and it'll be free. We'll go set it in a safe place. So the only thing left to do is unplug the headlight. And on this 14, your factory plug will look like this. We have an aftermarket headlight in here. We have a Rivera uh, LED. That's why we have a couple extra wires. But on your stock one, you're just gonna to need to unplug this. Um, for us, we're going to unplug this and take our extra wires and we're, we're free here. And that's it. Now we're free and we're going to go set this in a safe place. There it is. It's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, take the outer fairing off. Like I said, you're going to need to do this any kind of audio work or work you're going to want to do on the inner fairing. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please call us on our 800 number. You can chat with us online or comment right here in the comment section below. Now go work on your motorcycle.